If you're wondering why I have these multicolored donuts behind me arranged in the shape of the Olympics logo, it's because for the past couple of weeks, I've been part of a group called the Leadership Advantage Olympic Games, created and led by my dear friends and executive coaches, Sean and Christine Shepard. So for the past 10 days, We've had a daily challenge to help us focus our energy and commitment to serving our clients and the world in a much more profound, meaningful, and purposeful way. So today is our closing ceremonies for the games, and we have a final challenge to share specific insights and actions that we've taken. And I thought it'd be great to share this with all of you as well, that you might also benefit from my learnings. So for one of our challenges, we had to identify what gives us energy and what zaps our energy. I realized one of the things that zaps my energy is clutter. My home office has had all of these boxes and papers on the ground. It had been like this now for a few months. So for that day, I decided, let me do something about it. So I cleaned up my office and put away all that clutter. You know how long it took me to do that? less than half an hour and it's been clean ever since at least for the last couple of weeks the big insight here is that your environment impacts your creativity so choose to be in an environment that enhances your energy another challenge was sharing our morning routines for success my routine starts off with me reading my vision statement uh, for my life and then I eat something healthy and then I do some meditation. So on this particular day uh, during my meditation, I got some inspiration to do a quick run, to do some exercise. And as I thought about where to run, I realized I was in the mood to eat some dim sum. So I ended up running to Chinatown and I got my dim sum. So the insight here is that how you start your day sets you up for the kind of day you have. So why not start off your day in a way that nourishes you? And the third challenge I wanna share with you was to come up with a way to serve our clients in a way that goes above and beyond uh, what we usually might do. Uh, I had recently taught a course called Rewrite Your Money Story. And for this challenge, I had the inspiration to come up with a meditation, audio, and video of affirmations to set people up for having a great day. I created the video and sent it off to the class participants. And it's interesting because I've been wanting to do these kinds of meditation audios and videos for some time now. And my insight is that when you come from a place of service, the work doesn't feel like work. It actually feels like you're giving a gift. And who doesn't want to give a gift to someone else? And here's one last bonus insight I wanna share with you, which is figure out how to have more fun in your life and in your work. You know, these Olympic games were a way to make everything a lot more fun and easy, easier in community. Why do I have these donuts behind me? Because they're more fun. And so my question to you today then is, what insights are you taking away from this video and this post? And what actions can you take today, even the smallest baby steps, to be who your heart is calling you to be and for you to be of greater service? Abundant blessings and namaste.